Hi, I'm Pascal Serranos from Passive VR, and today I'm going to show you the multiple sensor op input option of Instant VR. Uh, today I'm using the Oculus Rift, Razer Hydra, Leap Motion, and Kinect 2 combined together. And the puppet on the left, it will sh change color uh, depending on which use uh, which uh, input is used at the moment. So when I start it up. You will see that it will change color, and then you can see that the head is blue, it's the Oculus Rift, and the rest of the body is yellow, that means it's the basic animator is used for the movement, because I'm, I'm not tracked at the moment. But when I stand up, you will see that things will change slowly. I hope I can put up the Rift on my head. So now th things have changed. Um, my arms and my body are actually uh, green at the moment. So this means that the tr Kinect is tracking my upper body and the legs are still animated because they are, they're out of sight of the Kinect sensor. When I move backwards, if I can possibly do, you can see that it will be able to track it just barely. But that's because of its, yeah, the range uh, and the setup I'm using right now. Um, Besides Kinect, I also have the Leap Motion, so when I move into the view, you see that the color changes and that Leap Motion is actually used, because it is possible to uh, provide more accurate tracking of the hand, so when it's a move into the ca field of the camera of the Leap Motion, it will switch automatically back to Leap Motion. So now you can have the optimal combination of Kinect and Leap together. Uh, and also I have the Hydra in front of me, uh, I haven't picked it up so it's not used, but as soon as I pick it up it will uh, uh, start automatically with the Hydra tracking. So now I can ev even have four different kinds of tracking together with the Hydra for the, left, uh, for the right hand, Leap for the left, left hand. For my body I have Kinect and for my head I have Rift and you can see that it's automatically um, uh, switching between all these devices depending on when it is available or not. So when I put back the Hydras, it will switch off Hydras and so on. So you can see it dynamically switches between all kinds of, uh, of tracking devices and actually you can uh, se set the preference yourself which is most important when I go to the guy here, the, the scripts are actually uh, listing the, pr uh, the priority between those uh, different um, uh, sensors, so the, the, uh, the drift is uh, the highest, then uh, we get the Hydra, Leap, the, uh, Leap is uh, more, less preferable for me, so it's below Hydra. And for instance, I also noticed that uh, the lag tracking is not always accurate with Kinect because it's on the, the edge of the detection. You can see uh, sometimes that my legs are jumping up to my hips. That's of because of the Kinect tracking and it's not uh, very accurate. So I can decide that on the left foot and right foot I switch off the Kinect tracking in my case. So it won't use Kinect tracking anymore and the occasionally uh, legs going up to my he hips uh, is not uh, uh, happening anymore. So this is all based on uh, Instant VR 30 version 3.2 and it will improve uh, with every version of course but uh, one of the thing great things about 3.2 is that I don't need any calibration. The only thing I need to set is the position of the camera of the Rift which you can see in the IVR Rift script. Here you can see I set the tracker about one and a half meters above the ground, ground and uh, half a meter in front of me and the rest of the calibration is all taken care of by uh, Instant VR uh, with one exception I should say and those are the Hydras. So the Hydra position is also configured. That's actually the base station. It's slightly on the right of me uh, about one meter in front of me and uh, no no 30 centimeters but you can see it yourself that those are the only f uh, p place you have to configure and then uh, it will just work except for two errors but i will check that out
Okay, thank you for your in, uh, interest and uh, hope you will, I will contact you soon. Okay, bye.